Hi, Phil Bradbury for Little Walter Tube Amps. Today I want to talk about tone stacks. Now tone stacks, that's uh, a high level word for uh, tone controls. When we first started playing our amplifiers, uh, we probably didn't realize that our treble, mid, and bass controls were uh, actually a passive tone control. Uh, simply meaning that when you turn your knob all the way to the right uh, of your mid, your bass, your treble, turn them all the right, or if you just have treble and bass, or if you just have a tone control, if you turn the knobs all the way to the right and play your instrument, that's exactly what your amp sounds like, and that is your full signal coming from your instrument. I was speaking with one of my good friends the other day that has uh, one of our new generation uh, amps, Series 9, and uh, he had run into another uh, endorsee of ours that was using his tone stack with the treble and mid turned way high to the far to the right, and uh, even the presence was quite a bit to the right, and he thought that was a little bit different than what he'd been doing, and when he tried it, he said at first it was a bit shocking, but he noticed that he was hearing more of his instrument than he'd ever heard before. And um, he tried it in the studio and liked it, and he tried it on stage and liked it. And I was tickled to death, and I said, well, you know, uh, you, you never know until you experiment. And I'm always, you know, trying to get people to try something new. But it backed up a theory that I've always had, that tiny little AC signal that comes from your instrument, from your pickups, into the amplifier, we want to maintain as much as your parent signal as we possibly can. Uh, theoretically, anything you throw away, you're getting rid of some of you. So uh, I know I used to think that when you had your knobs on your tone controls turned straight up at 12 o'clock, that that was kind of flat or centered and that you added going to the right and you subtracted going to the left. Well. While theoretically that is true, you are, you are gaining to go to the right and you're losing going to the left, there is no basic center position at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, you're halfway off of that particular frequency. Uh, I've got some drawings that I'd like to show you now uh, to illustrate this. Okay, here's a picture of a single coil pickup. Uh, that's going to your guitar cable and that's going to go carry your tiny AC signal into the amplifier. When it gets to the amplifier it's going to hit the preamp tube. There your signal is going to be enlarged and then that signal is going to be passed usually to the tone stack. Now the tone stack that I've shown in the picture here uh, has treble, middle, and bass cut and uh, it uh, is kind of the way I would adjust my own guitar when I was playing through this particular amplifier. Uh, on a side note, I'd like to point out that this little Walter tube amp goes from 1 to 12, which is actually one notch higher than Spinal Tap. But that's a whole other video. All right, uh, this may be a setting that is kind of normal to most people. But actually, what you uh, would experience if you turned the knobs all to the right, the bass, mid, and treble, you would experience the full range of frequency. This is what the amplifier you're plugged into actually sounds like, and it is your full signal, unmolested, let's say. Think of it as, uh, think of your tone knobs as valves like the faucets in your bathroom or your kitchen. Uh, you turn down the hot water and it's not quite as hot. Uh, you turn down the bass, you bleed off some bass frequencies. You turn down the mid, you bleed off, bleed off some mid frequencies. You turn the treble down, you bleed off some treble. Uh, it's, again, I'll say there's no right or wrong setting. It's what's right for you. But I just want you to understand that these are passive controls. Okay. Setting your tone controls the way someone else sets them could be a good place to get a starting point. But you need to develop the tone that is right for you, uh, the tone that you're seeking, that you're after. Uh, that will make you more of an individual. And think about it, of all the measuring tools and high dollar items we can get out there to analyze our tone, 
the best meter that you'll ever find. You were born with it. It's your ears. Trust yourself. Trust your ears and listen to yourself carefully and record yourself and try different tone stack adjustments. Uh, that is how you find the true sound of yourself. I hope this has been educational and a bit helpful to you. Uh, once again, uh, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong way to adjust the amplifier. It's just uh, understanding why the amplifier acts the way it does will help you uh, do more with it. Uh, thank you so much. I look forward to speaking to you in our next installment. Uh, be sure to go to uh, YouTube and uh, sign on for our, uh, to get all these videos. Uh, this is Phil Bradbury uh, for Little Walter Tubamps.